Hi there. If you want to know why it's important to pick the right town for purchase of a rental property, then that's exactly what I'm going to talk about today. It's really important to do your research and I will tell you why. Be right back. First of all, you need to pick a town that has strong demand. How do you find that out? Well, there are many websites that you can look at and run some numbers. Uh, rental demand in the city of Boston. What neighborhoods in the city of Boston? What about other neighborhoods uh, on the North Shore or west of here or um, on the South Shore? And how about close to the MBTA? Good transportation into very downtown Boston. Wouldn't it be great to spend 20 minutes going from Quincy to downtown Boston when even if you lived in Boston, you'd have to take two buses to get, or two means of transportation to get from the outer skirts of Boston to way downtown. It's important to know where is a good area that you can purchase property for rental property. The second thing to consider when picking a town for rental property is appreciation. Over the last 20 years, places like the neighborhood of Jamaica Plain unbelievable appreciation but the town itself was evolving and growing um, the economy got better lots of community involvement which makes a very strong community and that attracts more people Quincy I mentioned Quincy before they have upgraded their downtown area they have built lots of condos they have great transportation those things are very important Number three, desirable amenities. If you're going to pay a decent rent and live in the city of Boston or in the outskirts, you want to live in a, a, a you might want to live in a fancy building, but you might want to live in a great neighborhood. If you come out of your apartment or second floor of a three unit building and you can walk a block and have a great coffee shop or a place to go to dinner, that's a real big plus. And of course, these properties are in demand and they are also not cheap. Even Zillow, apartments.com, look on there and see what the demand is for a rental apartment. Our two unit buildings pop, would people rather live in those little neighborhoods than in a high rise? It's a whole different feel. For lower vacancy rates, if Brookline is another great place, if it's hard to find an apartment that you can afford in Brookline, then it's popular. And then maybe move a little further out and see if you can get close to those amenities at a decent rent, those properties are gonna be popular. Third thing is desirable amenities and infrastructure. And by infrastructure, I mean, can I get from where I'm renting to downtown Boston or somewhere nearby where I have a job, hospitals, really good schools, all kinds of things like that are very important. If you were in South Boston and you needed to go, you know, to Cambridge, is that possible? Can you do it in less than an hour? All kinds of things like that. South Boston's really hot, you know why? You can scoot right into the financial district, and yes, the rents are high, but you also have the beach right there. Lots of little things to consider when you're looking for a really desirable place to buy rental property. Number five, uh, quality uh, renter. If you have a rental property near a hospital, near a college, there are professors, there are professionals, near downtown, a popular neighborhood with young professionals, you'll know that you can get people who have the money to pay their rent on time and hopefully to take care of the property. The ability to weather market downturns. So when the economy is in tough shape, are these neighborhoods or communities still renting a park. A lot of this you can find, if you don't know the area, you can find out doing research. There are so many websites. And I'll list a few in the description below this video. And number seven, potential development. 
if you live in a pretty good area or if you buy in a pretty good area and they're building better infrastructure, they're building uh, more train access or they're building, well, for instance, they're extending the train service south of Boston to the south coast. So new Bedford and Fall River is going to have a whole new meaning. Their property values will be going up. People can commute. It might be an hour commute, but you're on a train. You can read the paper, etc., and you can live in a much better economic area. The best thing to do is talk to a really good real estate broker. Discuss these towns or, or where you would think you'd like to be. They can help you analyze the area, give you some tips, just like this video is. Ultimately, it's your decision. 20 years from now, it could be worth double. And for instance, I purchased a two unit building in Jamaica Plain, and that was when the economy was having a little bit of a tough time. And I believe I have more than doubled my investment. Real estate is still a great way to build, build wealth. I hope this helps. Thanks so much for watching. This is Karen with Boston and the Burbs. I publish every Wednesday. Please like, subscribe, it would be great. Have a great day.